Welcome back to our channel. If you missed it, you missed it. We are actually upgrading our boat. You can watch our video of our reasonings of why we are actually upgrading a boat, future plans, life goals and dreams, and why this boat isn't gonna be working for us, and why we are looking to upgrade sooner than expected. So if you missed that, go check it out. But I wanted to share with you the first official boat that we are looking at. It's virtually in San Diego. Well, it's physically in San Diego. We will be seeing it virtually today. And it is a 1992 45-foot Beneteau. So you'll see me looking down. I have my notebook here. <laughs> And boy, do I have a lot of notes because Seth and I have found a few boats that we feel would really fit ourselves and our future for the next like five, seven years. And we ranked them. So we put the boats on the top, different categories on the side. And between the four boats that we saw, we gave them points. So in the running rigging category, which one had the newest running rigging would get four points. The best out of the four boats, best out of the last three, two, and one. So we gave them a point structure. So we went a little analytical with it, but we had a really good time. And today's is actually the oldest boat we will be looking at and the largest boat that we will be looking at, which does give us a little bit of a concern because we know with a larger boat, you have a little bit more extensive high maintenance costs, but it's also the oldest one. So with that coupled, we don't want to run into the same problem that we felt like this boat eventually would have as well. However, it is really well maintained. So I want to go through some of the notable mentions before we bring you on the virtual tour with us because I want you to understand why we picked this boat as one of our options. The standing rigging was replaced in 2020 to the tune of $22,000, which again, in my mind, reminds me this is the most expensive boat priced right now at $140,000 and eventually upgrades and maintenance will be more. So we also have on this boat a brand new jib, Lazy Jacks, Stack Pack, Main Sail from 2022, an unused spinnaker, and an asymmetrical from 2022. It's got a 2022 folding prop with a fixed backup three blade. The engine is a Perkins that was serviced this year. It's got 1600 hours on it, and it's cooled with fresh water versus salt water. It's got two heads and it's also got two queen beds. I believe both heads are just like wet heads. There's no separate shower. One is electrical, one is manual, and the living space and storage is pretty good because it is a 45 foot boat. And the other notable mentions that we have here is that it is tricked out to go off grid. It's got 600 watts of solar. It's got fresh and salt water like systems in the kitchen. It's got a water maker. It's got an inverter with new batteries. It's got an auxiliary fuel tank in 2022 installed, engine battery installed in 2023, and it is ready for a trans pack. So we could bring it back here with little to no maintenance. Lifelines are original. There is teak in the cockpit. Running rigging will eventually need to be replaced and which is like on all boats. And then the headroom out of all the boats we looked at is the shortest at six foot three, which is about Seth's height. So that one is the lowest, but we've also been living in much lower as well. So we are gonna take you on the virtual tour of the 1992 45 foot Beneteau. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the walkthrough of the Beneteau 45 in really good condition, pretty clean on the outside, no spots of rust. All right, we have a new main, new stack pack, new jib, new asymmetrical standing rigging, all new in 2020 or 2022. Also comes with a spinnaker. Nice looking Dodger, that was done in 2020 with the glass looks nice. Has a connection to the bimini, also there's solar off the flexible solar panels off the bimini as well cockpit looks pretty good there is some teak so that would be uh, a maintenance item but that's nothing crazy newer raymarine instruments also lumar uh, two-speed self-tailing primary wenches Overall, everything up top is pretty new. Bottom paint was done recently, and it's uh, in pretty good condition. As we go down into the cabin area, you have a nice U-shaped galley.
got a nice spot for dry storage and then you have a deep fridge freezer top loading and then also access front loading as well nice seating area got your nav desk with storage on the inside as well as underneath that seat brand new Raymarine instruments down below as well nice chart plotter and your Victron electronics as well got a nice stateroom aft plenty of storage a uh, wet head next to it right by the companionway again nice seating area with storage and then moving forward we have the master cabin with a Pullman berth plenty of storage underneath and then you also have some cabinetry and a bench seat and then forward is another wet head with a little bit of separation between the head and that tetelet. Overall looks good, it's in good condition. One of our favorites. And that is a walkthrough of the Beneteau 45. And that is the 1992 45 foot Beneteau. So let us know in the comments down below what you loved, what you didn't like, if you think it would be a good boat for us. So leave that down below and we will see you next week back here for another walkthrough of another boat possibility that could become our future home. So we'll see you next week.